Rolling blackouts returned to Ukraine's capital earlier this month after successive Russian airstrikes since March chipped away the country's energy capacity. For many, it's a taste of things to come if Ukraine does not find alternative means to generate electricity before winter sets in. Ukraine's energy minister says that with more attacks expected on the energy infrastructure and given the ongoing air defense shortages, a quick fix to plug gaps is not available. Ukraine, in the meantime, is appealing to Western allies for more air defense systems and spare parts to fix its Soviet-era plants. It's necessary to prepare, but we'll definitely do everything to increase the generation as much as possible to ensure the stability of the system as much as possible. Russian strikes have been well documented against hospitals, schools and various other infrastructure. Experts have called it an age-old Russian war strategy to pressure and isolate Ukrainian civilians. So while the plan for winter is to restore power generation as much as possible, the big question remains, how will it happen? Ukraine's energy minister says, and I'm quoting here, the situation is already too difficult. Ukraine, in the meantime, is trying to acquire parts, as I mentioned, from long decommissioned German plants. Recently, Ukrainian teams went to Germany to e evaluate the equipment that was taken offline because it doesn't meet European Union environmental standards. The World Health Organization reported that over 14,000 people are displaced from the Kharkiv region in recent days. A WHO representative in Ukraine noted that nearly 189,000 people still live within 25 kilometers of the Russian border, facing significant dangers due to the ongoing conflict. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.